We are back. Archery with E. Today is a beautiful day to do what? Shoot. So that's what we're going to do. And we're about to have a little fun today. Finally got some time to actually shoot instead of like rush to shoot. So we're going to play a little game. So my thing is um, I've been shooting at 20 yards. My goal is to become so – because it's easy to – get super confident like at 20 like i've been hitting around the bullseye and i want to get to the point because i don't even want to rush this process i want to get to the point to where i it's so hard to miss at 20 before i even back up like maybe when i'm done shooting for the day i'll back up a little bit but i, I don't see the purpose in me for me I, I don't, maybe if you do archery and you know something that i don't know that I may be wrong, but in my philosophy, I don't need to be backing up past 20 if I'm not super dialed in at 20. I want to be to the point where I'm almost perfect at 20 before I even start entertaining backing up and taking reps that far. But maybe going back is good, but I'm a, I'll go back for like, you know, just to have fun to see how far I can shoot. But I really want to get really good at um, 20 per, 20. 20 yards. So the game I'm going to play is, you see how I got all those dots? Let me get a marker. I'm going to mark each one by number. And my goal is, just for today, I'm not going to do the bottom half. The top one, two, three, four, five circles, I want to hit as I call the number. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just going to mark one, two, three, four, five, just so I know what I'm calling out. So I don't hit nothing and say I did that on purpose when it was really an accident. This is three. It's hard to write. Three. I'll make this four. And this. All right, let's go. So that I'm not shooting and I hit a number by accident and say, oh, that was a bullseye. No, I want to hit specific circles. So let's see if we can do that. Just the top half. And we're going to see if we could get really dialed in at 20 yards. Because it's cool to shoot far. But if you're missing at 20, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? So let's go. So let's go through the whole routine. Let's get shooting. Okay, I'm going to start off. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to get crazy with it. Let's go with five first. Right in the middle. Let's go with five. Okay, got my grip set. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way, before we even get going, it's very important to stretch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go to the gym, but I recently just started doing exercises that are archery-based. So, like, drawing and stretching the back. and So, yeah, make sure you're stretching. If you can get a little workout in. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all healthy. It's all good for you. You know what I'm saying? It's all good and fun. All right, let's get it. First shot of the day. Right, let's get that number five. Uh, peep sights look good. Pin is dangling over the five. Ah, come on, it fell. All right. So, I'm a little off. From the five, that's okay. Also, I never taped down my foam thingy, but we'll get to that. <laughs> I'll do that when I get time. All right, let's go. Let's go number one. Mm. Nope, didn't like that. Remember what I said? If you got to reset, reset. I don't. I refuse to just take a bad shot just because I drew my bow. So, yeah, if you got to reset, reset. Also, shout out to the, I forgot his name. He explained to me why you shouldn't pull your bow without an arrow and how if you dry fire by accident, dry fire is basically pull it back and let it go and it ends up shooting without a bow. It can mess up all these cams and stuff like that. Because I know the, with firearms, it's like, don't point your gun unless you have a target and, 
all that. So it's kind of opposite where it's like, don't draw your bow unless you got an arrow in it because it could break your whole arrow. It's deeper than that, but yeah, you get the drift. You get the drift. All right, let's go number one. Let me not rush it. The first shot, I feel like I rushed it. Let me take my time. If it's long, I can always edit it. <laughs> All right. Mm, shot's not good. But it's okay. This is why I wanted to do this. I want to practice shooting at a specific spot, calling it out, and not getting it. So keep practicing this. I'm going to keep practicing this until I can just nail everyone every single time let's go number three i got three four and two left so let's go three get through my sights you breathe make sure you pull in there we go there we go there we go See, I took my time that time. The other two times I felt like I was rushing, just trying to make the shot. When it's like, nah, just go through the process. You don't have to make every shot. Let's go for let's go for two. Remember that you don't gotta make every shot. Get the process right, get your routine right, and the shot will come. Alright. Why you touching my lip? I can see see clearly the target. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. We're going for number two. Not bad. Not bad. I was close to it. Okay. Last one. Last one. And that's going to be five. No, that's four. That's four. All right. Let's go. Make this good. Finish this draw. Come on, pull. Get on target. Get on target. Keep pulling. Squeeze. Ah, missed it. Out of corner, but that's okay. This is this is part of the process. That's why I'm like, I want to master. 20 yards before I decide to run 30, 40, 50 yards. And I feel like this was productive. I felt like this is how I'm going to get better and try to just pick a spot and hit it and then work on grouping. So that's what we got going on, man. It's going to keep shooting. Y'all already know the vibes. Let's have fun. Let's keep learning, keep growing, and be the best version of ourselves. Let's go. Two, five was here, one was here, three, I hit three. Only thing I missed completely was four. No, that's one.